Okay, this just happens way too much, but like for some reason my camera wasn't recording and I just filmed this. So I'm, I'm pissed. I'm fucking pissed. Like, god damn it, I just finished ranting. And now I have to re-rant. I have to re-rant. Spoiler alert, that, there's a lot of spoilers in this. I'll probably put this in at the front of the damn video. Whatever. Here goes. Today, I'm talking to you all about the Maze Runner. Is it the Maze Runner or just the Maze Runner? Fuck it, I'm not gonna check. Like, I'm not addressing the book. I haven't read it, so like, don't try to correct me or something like, oh, you, you, this happened in the book. This happened in the book. Like, bitch, I didn't read the book. I watched the fucking movie, and this is a review of the movie, and like, me putting out the fucking flaws and the dumbass fuckery in it. Here goes. First point. The story definitely felt rushed. They tried to fit too much in. Ooh, that's what she said. Practically, like, there was so many things happening. It was just like, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened. And you had no breaks. And, like, I do appreciate a fast-paced movie, but it was just like, just give me a second to process, come on. It's the one. There's two. Oh, even worse. I feel like this seems to be happening in a lot of movies on, like, I don't know, the first one, because, like, it happened in the the first Hunger Games movie, but like, whenever somebody is like, moving, or like there's an action scene, they just like, shake the camera to like, I don't know, give it everyone nausea. Because like, in the Hunger Games, whenever Katniss ran, which was like, every three minutes, th the camera would just start shaking, and like, even in that, I, I had like, slight motion sickness, and in this movie, which is like, a majority of running, it was even worse. I could not even tell what was going on, and every time there was a fucking fight scene, you 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 would never even know who fucking died, and they never even addressed it at the end, because, like, apparently it doesn't matter unless it's the fucking main character. They don't ever fucking address anybody else's death, and I mean, it was like, oh, the, the bread, bread, fucking Fred almost died, but the, like, what, what the fuck? I think, like, the only, the, like, three deaths that they actually showed was probably, like, that fat kid with the statue. Every time there is an argument, it just gets cut short because somebody woke up. Dylan O'Brien's character was arguing with that other redhead dude, I think. I think he had red hair. I'm not too sure. And then it was like, they were getting to like the point where it's like, ooh, there might be a fight. There's like climax to like the build up of like all this like friction and traction between these two characters. And then out of nowhere, some bitch is like, someone woke up. And then like, let's go. It's like, Fred woke up. Someone woke up. The chickens woke up. Let, let, not, let's not fight. The chickens woke up. We can't. And then they just stop. And I'm like, come on. I thought there was going to be like some kind of fight. Like an uprising or something. I don't know. Like some uproar. Like they, they was going to have some like tension. But no, it just ended. And it was just kind of like, oh, let's go talk to Fred. Because he woke up. And that was fucking stupid. Oh. Another fucking stupid thing to do with the, the damn tents was like when the, when the grievers came out of the maze, like at all four sides of like the fucking directions, like, and then they all had that genius idea to hide in the fucking stick shack, like, are y'all kidding me? You just saw these damn things, like, it, you tried to burn it, but then that shit was just like, and then it was it was no longer burning, and then you're gonna hide in a fucking pile of sticks? Bitch, what kind of world are you safe in a motherfucking pile of sticks? Like, the thing literally crawled on top and was just like, Oh yeah, there was, there's like this one stick that holds up the whole structure, breaks it, and then it falls on everyone. And they're like, ah oh, shit, I thought this was so secure because it's literally made out of motherfucking branches. Are you fucking stupid? Stop. Why did nobody realize that that weird kid, what was his name, like, the redhead dude, when, like, he, the one that, sh like, tried to shoot them at the end, like, how did they not realize that he was behind them? Like, they walked through an empty fucking corridor. How do you not realize there is someone following you behind when the corridor is literally, like, a straight line, which, if you look back, you'll see the bitch there, and you'll just be like, hey, you didn't even want to come with us, like, something ain't right, like, did, did no one fucking notice that this creep was fucking crawling up on them? And like, wouldn't they have noticed when they were going through that weird door trappy things, when they were fighting the damn grievers, just before they entered the griever hole, the giant black hole, 
I'm not talking about a vagina, I'm talking about the grave hole. Like, how did they not notice that this one other dude also jumped in at that last minute? Because I doubt that bitch went in with Teresa, Teresa, and like the fat kid with the white statue. And then like at the end when they showed the maze, it was like if you just climbed onto the highest point, you could probably just like get out. Why did no one ever do that? They were like, we've tried climbing. It's like obviously not high enough because if you look at the end, it's just like, this is the wall, this is another wall, and this is like the highest one. And if you just get on that one, you can just jump onto the rest. And it's like some fucking Mario platforming shit and they could not even figure that out. And obviously, they're not very special brain kids. They're fucking stupid. Can't even get out of my fucking maze. God, and then they're fucking grievous. It was like, it was so pointless. And now, is it just me or is it like, behind every single bad organization now in like every fucking movie is some old white person. Just like, just think about it. Really think about it. In The Giver, there's that white, the person that Meryl Streep plays. She's pretty evil. And then we have like, Coin, and then Snow, and like, The Hunger Games. If you read the whole trilogy. And now, like, in The Maze Runner, there's that like, white bitch, what's her name? Ava, Ava Mendez or some shit? I don't know. She's pretty evil too, I just, see, I'm starting to see a pattern. Yeah. If I was get, I was to like rate the movie in general, I'd give it like a 3.5, just because like I'm being generous. Like, I'm not gonna say 3, because like Ki Hong Lee, my bae, is in it, and I'm using the term bae ironically, but unironically at the same time, and it does not fucking stand for before anyone else, because that doesn't even make any motherfucking sense. Have you ever heard anybody use it in that way? It's like, going to get some frozen with some frozen yogurt with my bae. Like, that doesn't even make any motherfucking sense. Like, going to get some frozen yogurt with my before anyone else. Does that make any sense, bitch? No, it doesn't. Anyways, the movie gets like a 3.5, as I said. Maybe this is like a new segment that I'll do. Like, I'll just tear the shit out of movies and just tell them what the fuck is stupid about them. Anyways, y'all have a good day. Bye.